it's not often that a person gets to witness a reintroduction of a critter that was once thought extinct, but recently GFP biologist Silka Campama assisted with the release of some black-footed ferrets. Black-footed ferrets in South Dakota pretty much overlap with the range of uh, black-tailed prairie dog, and that, at least historically what we think, um, just east of the Missouri River, but the primary range was probably West River, South Dakota. Ferrets in South Dakota kind of have an interesting history. Um, in 1964, there was a population of ferrets that they found on a ranch in Millette County. Um, that population was studied for about 10 or 11 years, and it was kind of one of the remaining populations, if not the only population of ferrets in South Dakota. Um, those some of those individuals were taken into captivity for breeding purposes. Um, that effort didn't go well. And so we're at a point where we don't have any ferrets anymore. In Wyoming, in 1981, a ranch dog named Shep brought this weird looking critter to his owner's doorstep. And that was the dis rediscovery of black-footed ferrets in the wild. And eventually, <clears throat> due to concerns with disease, those last remaining animals were taken into captivity. In South Dakota, there are a number of reintroduction sites. One of the first ones was in Badlands National Park. The second one occurred very close by on Forest Service property in the Kanata Basin. Um, those two populations kind of merged, merged into one and we refer to it as the Kanata Basin population. There were also reintroductions that occurred on um, Native American Indian reservations. Um, one of the major management concerns with ferrets and reintroduction is um, disease, and so management of plague is a huge concern. The black-footed ferret is the only native ferret found in North America, and more importantly, it's a species that is helping conserve a unique grassland. Black-footed ferret is also a state endangered species, so our role is to help um, restore this species back to the wild.